Hey everyone, in this video today, I'm going to talk about my journey into cybersecurity. So in high school, I was a stereotypical teenager that was interested in computers. I would build up computers, I would play with them, and in my games, I would do things like scripting and, of course, if I dare say it, get into the dark side a bit into like key gens and torrents and all that stuff. But with all that past way behind me, I'm going to dive into my college years, which is probably going to be more important for some people entering the field. So in college, I got a major in information systems. And within that, I was able to learn the business side and the IT side. And within this major, I actually didn't want something as hardcore as computer science, where I would learn a lot of sciences and physics and calculus and all that stuff. I wanted to be a programmer at the time when I entered because I was interested in like web development and even making my own games. So going from there, the way I got into the security field for the first time is there were some student clubs like a forensic and security club and also like ISACA, the um, something about audit and controls kind of organization. Through that, I was able to meet some people in the industry and they were telling me about their field, like getting into cybersecurity, looking at network logs, looking at um, attacking and defending and all that stuff. And that's what intrigued me. From there, I was able, through my student clubs, to see things like capture the flag competitions. For example, I would participate in stuff like the Symantec uh, Cyber Readiness Challenge. And also every single year, there was another thing called the US Cyber Challenge, which is, which is a bit more prominent, a bit more involved, but I was able to take a quiz. And through that quiz, I was able to get a scholarship to attend a specific program, which were taught by SANS instructors. And from there, I was able to learn about malware analysis, even some attacking and defending. And it was quite an interesting and awesome time. Through there, I was able to learn things like application security, network security. And then in my school itself, there were even four classes about security by itself, like internet security, which would gear me towards a CISSP and also network security, which would teach me about things like routing tables and VIPs and other stuff like that. And also there was an audit class where I was able to learn things like, hey, you know, if there's a gap in your system, um, how do you document it and how do you fix it? So these were options to me aside from the regular programming track and networking track, web development track and all that stuff. So that was my foray into that. For people that want to get into the industry, a lot of people like to ask me, how do you get into cybersecurity? And for me, uh, it, it, the problem is it depends on the recruiter and the company looking at the application. If you're starting from zero, of course, there has to be things like demonstrated tech knowledge. There has to be a way for you to show the interviewer that you've been doing these projects and things that gear you into cybersecurity if you don't have a degree in cybersecurity. For example, I have a friend with a geology major, and what she did to get into cybersecurity was first work in the IT department, like in the help desk and all that stuff, work as a network analyst, and then from there work in the network security engineering field because demonstrated knowledge, demonstrating to the boss that they're interested in that field. So if there's someone working in IT, the transition is a bit easier because of the IT demonstrated knowledge that's already behind the scenes. I also tell people to do things like participate in GitHub repositories and all that stuff. So like, let's say there is a project that is open source, you want to find a way to contribute to that, to be able to demonstrate that in the portfolio. Also, if there's things that like capture the flag challenges, definitely participate in those. And then if they post the results, like you were maybe six out of a hundred people that participated, you participated in the top and got the top six, that is another way to show demonstrated knowledge as well. Um, the last way that I'll also show is like um, certifications. So, People getting into the industry for the first time, there are things like the networking certifications like CCNA, which is a Cisco certification. That's a way to get an entry level networking job. Now for security side, there is a CompTIA plus certification called Security Plus. And that is one way people are able to foray into the security industry and get an entry level position. Now it's interesting because just with the Security Plus certification and some IT demonstrated knowledge, it is possible to land a position nowadays in the security field, of course, as a lower end security engineer, and then work your way up from there. Now, for people that have the means, a very good way to get noticed in the industry, of course, is let's say you're working towards your degree, 
pivoted to the information systems degree, pivoted to the computer science degree, take some classes in computer security, uh, get the security plus certification. That is a very good foundation way to get into the cybersecurity industry. For me, as I work with recruiters in terms of hiring entry-level candidates, those are the types of things I'm going to look for. Things like the certification somebody has, the types of projects somebody's done, and basically asking them all the questions and seeing how much are you really interested in cybersecurity? There are things that are teachable, and I believe cybersecurity is definitely one of those things, especially as long as somebody has the drive to be able to learn. So that's pretty much all I have to say in this video today. Um, if you guys want, I can make another video about my path after entering my first consulting gig or something like that. You know, comment down below. Let me know what you think. I hope to see you guys in the next video, and I hope you guys found this helpful.